Fasting cannot be undertaken against an opponent. Fasting can be resorted to only against one's nearest and dearest and solely for his or her good. Gandhi, Young India, September 30th, 1926. As far as I am aware, Gandhi never gave a comprehensive overview of the ground rules, so to speak, for a successful fast. But one can put them together from various things that he wrote. And this is probably rule number one, that it is a tool that you use to awaken another and not to force him or her by social pressure or whatever to do something that you want. And there are classic examples of fasting being misused. Uh, sorry to say, one of them was uh, back in the early days, I believe, of Margaret Thatcher's rule in the UK. Some Irish uh, freedom fighters, or she would call them terrorists, undertook fasts at Longkesh Prison without having first established that rapport with the British government. One faster at least died, and I'm afraid it was politically not very effective. So uh, actually, Gandhi's statements on fasting were compiled by Prabhu in a little booklet called Fasting in Satyagraha, Its Use and Abuse. And we also go over these rules, incidentally, in our own nonviolence handbook. Thank you.